next door was a car wash, so I thought I would try it out since I've seen commercials and my car is dirty. So I hope to make this a nice habit for me and my car. And look, I'm behind a Toyota Avalon. It looks like a Camry. Okay, I didn't grab my receipt, but it was just about $10, the same price I paid a couple weeks ago, close to home. This is not that much farther from home, but the other one is closer. They are offering a um, unlimited car wash for the next 30 days for an additional $5. But then they'll start charging you after that if you don't remember to cancel. So I just said no. They have people here. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Wow, my left tire has to be right in the center of that gutter. They told me I had to take my foot off the brake and put the car in neutral. So now there's a machine thing that's just guiding my car through. I have to keep my foot off the brake and my hands off the steering wheel until I get to the end and the green light comes on. rubber strips to turn on the wheel. Oh, <laughs> I got the big one. Things can be fun if we just relax and enjoy it. Well, if I can share with you, I have been able to work a little extra, but more than that, actually, I've been able to trim off fat. And it's taken me a year to actually see where I could trim off the fat in my life because I'm like, what fat? There is no fat. <laughs> where in the world can I trim off the fat in my life? Financially, right? 
but there was. And so once I got rid of the um, bank fees, and then I got with cheese, you know, and I started earning cash back and a little interest on my balance every month, and no monthly fees. I was able to recuperate about $75 in the first six to nine months. just south of where I live. It's not that far from where I live, so that's nice. Now I know I have an option for going to get my car wash if the other one is not working. Look at that big, beautiful building with all those glass windows. It's a specialty hospital. Okay, so yeah, then um, I can't remember offhand what the other thing was. But getting off of Verizon and going to Mint Mobile. You guys, if you want my referral code, um, I will leave it on this video. In the comments and in the description. I know I've done this before. And it took me several times of hearing about Mint Mobile before I finally decided to do it. I had to do it. It's saving me at least $65 a month. Plus, I got on a very, very low cost internet plan. And then I qualified for a free plan for a couple of months uh, during the summer. Because I was off from working for the school district. That gave me uh, over $120 realized in savings immediately. That makes a big difference. Every little bit makes a difference. So I believe I'm going to be able to stay on the program. I don't know. I need to call them and ask them because they did say something about reevaluation. With that, plus my tax refund, I took my friend's suggestion and went to Vanguard.com. And this is the first time I've ever known about really going to a Vanguard brokerage online just to purchase a CD. All right, this is my second time out the gate now, starting over with even less money. After I sold my house, I immediately put a thousand dollars in a CD at the bank. That is all I knew to do. And then I put money in the stock market. But listening to Dave Ramsey, I'm actually hearing where I should have set aside four thousand dollars immediately towards some other kind of uh, savings, just a regular savings account. And then start paying down whatever debts I still have. I really only have one main one and I need to start paying on that. But again, I feel like it's going to be easier if I can find some other type of housing that's not quite as expensive. But, you know, this winter, these winters are brutal. And I don't want to be in a situation where my car is sitting out in the elements. Look, I'm in front of another Toyota again. <laughs> it's a Camry. It's an older model. So what you think about will start to, uh, you will start to be drawn to those areas where those types of people and things that have been on your mind are going to show up. All right, now I'm going for my pedicure.
Okay, I thought I'd start talking here. There are three metal towers you can see there on the glass. Those are actually heaters and they look like coil heaters and they are directly in front of you and it's about 140 degrees in there so it does take some getting accustomed to. I'm not sure in the beginning back in 2015 when I first did it I wasn't sure that I could continue but I stuck it out and after about three sessions I got used to it and I moved in between these two metal ones so I'm not directly in front of it which I recommend. Now you can adjust the temperature, you can lower it. And I used to open the door <laughs> once, a, once in a while in the beginning just to get some fresh air. But they recommended that I not do that more than maybe once during the session. It's a 40 minute session and you do need to give it a chance to actually let you sweat. Now I got on the Vibacore machine first for eight minutes and that is very, very strong. You feel like all your organs are being jostled, but it really gets the lymphatic system ready to drain. So here I'm pointing to the lights and the infrared coils and up on the right, there's a panel box there. Shows you the temperature, which I don't really know if you want to know what it is actually. And then you have a timer. They give you a timer, which you need to push to take in with you. You can get out before the 40 minutes. So I think I used to do like maybe 30 minutes in the beginning. I accidentally pushed it twice and so it was 42 minutes. So I had to step out and ask the girl what to do because I couldn't remember. So then I subtracted the two minutes and I got out after about 38 minutes. Oh my gosh, what an amazing self-care day, you guys. I highly recommend it. And it took me a year to be able to get to this point and figure out how I was going to, you know, cut costs and not really lose the things that I needed to do on my phone and my computer. So technology has advanced and, uh, you know, it's making it faster and easier and thank goodness. Oh my goodness, thank goodness. So I just got out of the hot sauna. I, I've forgotten how wonderful it is. And the first few times I went, I wasn't sure I could do it. It takes a while to get used to that kind of heat. And I got out about two minutes early as you can see. Um, but yeah, I haven't sweat like that in a while. And I got on the vibrating machine first, that's important. And then I went across this coffee shop called Scooters. I got myself a package of ground coffee. And the girl was very helpful. I kept asking her about sugar in drinks. And she kept telling me, no, 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 not that one, not that one. Pretty much all of them have quite a bit of sugar, except for this cafe latte Americana, sugar-free. And then there's a caramel flavor, whiskey and milk. commercial for the day but I am definitely uh, more pain free less pain very relaxed I'm ready to lay down and take a nice nap and they do have other products that you can put on your body to make yourself sweat even more they have sweet sweat although they're getting rid of it and then they have a product called three degrees and then something has some of them have CBD in them. Anyway, today was a $20 session. I can't go to the beauty school and get a detoxing body wrap for $20. They're $45, and that's an amazing price for that. So for me to get the benefits of this infrared sauna for $20 today is amazing, and I highly recommend that you try it a couple of times. And if you see that there are benefits and you're able to do it physically, you know, uh, there might be some conditions, some heart conditions maybe. There were, I remember there was one day I remember in the beginning, back in 2015, I felt woozy and nauseous. I don't think I had been drinking enough water. 
I probably hadn't had enough to eat that day. Um, and I have managed to lower my cholesterol, and I have, uh, you know, lost the first 10 pounds. But when I was going, and I got on the Vivacore machine, and then I put the sweet sweat on, I think I was going once a week, or maybe twice a week at one point. I definitely lost the fat in my tummy, and I could see it from the sides until I just had this little ball of fat in the center of my tummy down there. And part of that was these loose muscles that I, I still have to tighten. Okay, so I don't want this video to be too super long. Um, I, I hope that everything that I share is interesting and helpful. And uh, yeah, check out all health options and join loyalty programs and check specials because that's what they had today. Make it a great day, and I will see you soon.